I tried turning my fridge into an air conditioner. It sort of works, it just doesn't stay cold perpetually, which is what I was aiming for. It still works as a fridge. I can keep a couple pops in there, maybe like two sticks of butter at this point. I'll show you how I did it and where I need to improve. That's better. Alright, two zip ties then. this work. I'm hoping it doesn't run out of fluid and go too low. Well, looks like it's staying contained. This one's got a bit cooler but not much. Probably gonna have to drill a hole in the top and just run the lines through it. I don't want to do that, but it's probably gonna be the best way. About 50 degrees in certain areas, 45 and others. It's to heat it up a lot. It's like 15 minutes of running it, so probably need more coolant. Well, this is gonna hurt me more, it's gonna hurt you. That wasn't the right spot. That's why you measure twice, cut once. I got the water pump from the water heater I made in one of my previous videos. I'm just going to throw it into a gallon of coal and circulate it through this uh, oil cooler.
pack this full of foam. Hopefully it stays cool. Okay, it is roughly around 100 degrees in here. Okay, you can hear it kicked on. It's just dumping coolant back inside of itself. And I do have a little DC fan back there. I'll probably put my box fan in the back to push more air. Oh, it feels amazing right here. The fan's not pushing too much air. Okay, I got it foamed off and take the fan to it. Doesn't look pretty at all. I mean, it works. For how long? I'm not sure. It actually feels really good. But I assume the coolant's gonna heat up eventually running through there. Okay, right now I'm just doing everything I can to trap the cold. Try to keep the cold as long as I can. So I added some a heat shield, but it also works as a insulator. I'm gonna wrap the rest of the lines with it. Maybe shove some foam in there. I put a layer of Reflectix on top of the cooler and it actually does help a lot as far as keeping coldness in. So that's a good tip just in general if you have a fridge and not trying to turn it into an air conditioner just in general you can put some Reflectix over it or tape it to the top and it'll help keep it cold, save some power. I'm gonna run a baseline with my air conditioner if I can reach it. Alright, well that's our baseline. What we gotta compete with. That's pretty good. This is the coldest I've got in my fridge, so and now is going to be the best time to try it out. Hold this on the first row. Not bad. After about an hour, it's already starting to heat up. It still feels good, but not enough for me to deem this a success. I want this to be perpetually cold. My ingenuity might not be limited but my budget sure is i can definitely make this better so i'm gonna put a pin in this and come back with a redesign so my biggest design flaw is the cold coolant's coming in and as it heats up i am dumping it right back into the same reservoir as the cold coolant so i need to make a second reservoir for that as well as adding another secondary cooler in here i had a heater core somewhere but I don't know where it's at and I'm trying to keep this as budget friendly as possible. Hopefully you enjoyed the video anyway. Thank you for watching.